Hey, I haven't made a video in a while, so I got something that I want to make a video about, and it's nothing different than what I used to make them out of about before. Um, and uh, basically, what it is is I um, I've had several jobs over the past year or so different uh, construction jobs, building houses, or building apartments or whatever. And I took a job with a carpenter and it was him and his, uh, his father-in-law. The father-in-law was a pastor and he was training, he was supposedly going to school, the guy that owned the business was supposed to be going to school to learn ministry or whatever. And he was a member of AG, uh, Assemblies of God, church. And uh, basically, I, I want to just say that they were the biggest assholes I ever encountered in my whole life. I mean, not my whole life, but I mean, you know. Um, and, you know, seeing that uh, I have bills that I have to pay. I mean, I don't have a lot, fortunately, but I do have to pay, you know, bills. So I have to tolerate crap from people on, on at work. And, uh, you know, these people were Christians. And, um, you know, I could understand that if I was a major flunky or something or didn't know what I was doing or didn't, you know, I provided tools at times, you know, bare minimum, but I provided some tools that would help to keep the job perpetuated. I would... Uh, you know, I basically would do what I always do, and that is work, you know, hard like I've done over the past years. And um, I always look at, you know, how I'm doing the job. And if I was like working for myself, you know, as an individual looking at me, you know, working, I always do a good job, the best that I can do, even sometimes beyond that because of just the type of person I am and it depends you know if a person's real nice to me on a job I will kill myself for them you know like I'm doing at the medieval fair I'm having a lot of fun there and I, I did uh, I did nine days in a row 10 11 hour days or more uh, just running around that place just doing whatever that had to be done and had a good time at it and you know I've had two days off now it's, this is the third day off and so you know, and I, I'm not getting paid a whole lot of money to do that, but, you know, it's fun and it's enjoyable. And the people that own the place are really good. You know, they're really good people. Um, uh, the, you know, the, and some of them are Christians. Uh, I don't know if the guy that owns it is a Christian, but I know that one of them is. I see he's got an 88-point uh, one sticker on his car, which is a Joy FM. And he's a really nice guy. And... Uh, you know, and so he's having problems with the religious people too, or or something. I mean, but anyway. So, what the freak? Okay. I just want to know if there's anybody out there that is watching this video that is a member of a Pentecostal Assembly of God church or any kind of church that is, claims to be following Christ. Okay. Um. If you're not a nice person and you're not treating people or any, you know, you're not, you know, if you're not like producing some kind of fruit for Christ, you know, I mean, it's, you don't even have, you don't even know how to do that. I'm sure that you don't know how to do it. But if you're not a nice person, stop calling yourself a Christian. Stop saying that you read the Bible. Stop saying you go to church. Stop saying all these things because you are disgusting to me. You are like, I don't know what you are. There's a hypocrite. Jesus said that, you know, you were like tombs with dead man's bones inside. Tombs with dead man's bones inside. Let's think about that. Okay, how long were the bones uh, in the tombs um, 
sitting there. I mean, if you open the tomb up and the and the body had just been placed in there two months ago, it's going to stink really bad. Okay? That's not a good compliment. That's not very good. I mean, that's, that's nasty. You're covered, you're, the thing is covered with worms, maggots, and it's stinking. And Jesus said that that's what you was. So, you know, this stuff is disgusting to me. It's just, it's terrible. Uh, I don't know what's, I don't know anything else to say, I, I, you know, other than, you know, you're going to reap what you sow because you, you're, you're, you're teaching the law, you're, you're preaching the law. It's obvious you're preaching and teaching the law. I mean, because you don't know grace. You don't know Christ and what he did and, and finished the finished works of the cross. You don't know that you died with Christ, that you resurrect, you, you, you know, suffer with him on the cross. Well, you know, he suffered for us, but he became us and became sin for us. And you don't know this. So, you know, you're obviously living by the law. So that means that, um, that even though that you think that you're under grace, you, you, you're still under the curse because you're not really understanding what the gospel is. So I can understand why you're so miserable. Because I, I was there myself too. I, I didn't understand all this. I thought that uh, God was dis, you know, wasn't pleased with me. You know, like the Bible says, those, you know, God is pleased with those who live by faith. And I'm thinking, okay. I got to live by faith and I got to develop my faith up and I got to build all this faith up so that God will be happy with me. But that's not what it's talking about. It's simply just saying, just believing in what he says, believing that he loves you, believing that Jesus died and did everything for you, for me, for the world. He did it all. He made a way for us to be in union with God Almighty. We are in union with God. 